Hey, it's Ever from Hood Time Welling. Today is going to be a little bit different. Today we're going to be working on a project for outside um, for me. Uh, you know, we got the new shop the side of the building here that you guys really haven't gotten to see. So what we're going to be doing is finishing um, attaching fencing and I'll show you what I mean. So if you look over there, you can sort of see on the side of the house that we have a door and then it's fenced in area and that's where we usually let our dogs out. Well, when we first moved in, this is the garage where I did my work. Our property only came over to here and we had to have this fence installed. Well, now that we own the rest of this, we own this along with the new part of the garage. What we need to do is take this fencing out and move it. And we had to fill in between the two buildings. So I started out by, uh, I got a cattle gate, um, which the dogs could fit between it. So I, uh, got this metal mesh fencing and I zip tied it with these metal zip ties right to the fence. Uh, I got the gate hung using uh, the anchors. They go all the way through the wall. You can see the metal strap that I put on through so it's pulling on the whole thing. So today what we got to do though is we got to finish the side here. On the side where you would hit right into there into the electronics box. So I made this piece right here see if she'll stay there for a second where this is going to come over attach right to that and then we'll be able to chain chain it closed and it won't hit the electronics box so then the other part is there's two spots they're hard to see because of all the vines but there's one spot right there and that spot you can see where the top rail on the fence is bent so what we got to do is clean that off and I actually have some um, pieces I uh, made so that I can splice that top rail and I'll show you what those look like you know again I made that beforehand um, but this is also the dogs can come through there down here and into this door on the bottom of the shop I don't know if you can see with the shade if you go inside the shop there's stairs where they'll be able to go right up into the main shop where I'm at or come outside as they want. My other problem is, is right there, I needed to get closed off. Behind the shop, you can see there's a fence that runs all the way. And I was actually gonna put the fencing further back. But the problem is, is like two weeks ago, these weeds that you, or whatever the heck they are that are growing up, were all down. So I would be able to get to it real easy. But um, yeah, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was back there, none of them were there. And you can see how freaking tall they've gotten in like three weeks. It's just amazing. So, change of plans. We're going to have to put that piece of fencing that we're cutting out and put it right across right there so the dogs can't get behind there. Which, with as thick as it is, if you really look, you could see how thick it is. I don't know if they'd be able to bully their way through there. But, just in case, we're going to go ahead and put that fencing in right there. So, we'll start with the gate. And that's what we're going to start with today. Um... And then we'll go ahead and we'll fix the top rails on the fence. And then the last piece will be cutting that out and putting it over there. So go ahead and join me today. We'll get going. So you saw I got the gate all done. Next thing I did want to do is do these. Um, as you can see, there's that big bend right there. And then Adrian, Mrs. Hood time, is holding up the piece I'm gonna fix them with. If you look at them, show them from the end, it'll clamp right over there. And then I can bolt it back together to hold that piece solid. And then we'll do both ends. Um, this end I'm gonna have to cut so that I can bend it back down. And on that side, as you can see, is already bent down. What she's doing is just getting some of these vines off of here. So that's what we're working on. And so we've got this section, and like I said, there's that other section that's even worse. So we'll get working on those.
So you can see the importance of fixing the fence because Norman jumps over it. And then Miss Pig comes over and knocks over the tripod. Miss Hood Time got us fixed up, but it was too late to capture where I spliced the fence and got it put back together. Actually, feed me. I'm gonna feed you the cord through the fence, so I have a little more length. See why I gotta put something on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Keep going for a minute. Come this way a little so we don't. Okay, go ahead and put it down. Uh, I'm just gonna get these two pipes cut down a little more. This one I'm not worried about because it's in the corner.
go. So there's the fence down. Just doing this clean up and we'll get back to you and with you in the shop. So now that everything's done, I'm gonna go ahead and take you a walk around so I can show you a little bit better. So you can see right there, side of our house. And um, we let the dogs out in the side area where this is all fenced in. So we removed this fence in between right here. You can see it needs to be mowed. And as we walk around here, uh, first thing was is we put I put the gate up. You can see it's low enough to the ground, they shouldn't be able to get out and um, I make it so it latches with the chain on the side there on that piece I'd made. The cable I had off centered because I was trying to hit a stud so I actually got to move it down on the cement so I can get it straight up and down because over on this side it was tight and when you open it up it would get slack so that really annoyed me so I've got to fix that but I probably won't video that. Um, right there is where I tie back the gate when it's open um, so now on this side where we fixed it you can see we actually painted those uh, splices and you can see them a lot better now and um, so we've got the two right there where it was spliced and then we've got this big area where it was way down you can see it was a pretty long stretch we had to stretch the fence up to that bar and then plus put all those ties on. Um, those stainless steel ties, I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, do a review on that and the tool. Uh, the ties I've been using for a bit, or I bought them last year to fix my fence and they've held up great. They're stainless steel so they don't rust. The tool that actually tightens them I just got a couple weeks ago, but since it's been working so well I'm going to go ahead and do a review on it. So we'll continue on here. So that one section of fencing, uh, you saw me welding that piece of pipe along the bottom to stiffen it up. Um, we've got two cable dies there, for temporary. Uh, like I said, I wanted this back further in, but this stuff just grew and grew and grew and I can't get back there and I don't feel like macheting it. Uh, on this end I made, these are actually for the, if you, it was an actual gate and I put some pins, uh, it's sort of hard to see, that they sit down on. Maybe you can see about a little better on this side. So that's attached pretty well. So when we have this door open right here, the dogs can come down and around. And now they can come right up stairs when I'm working. This is a part of the shop I haven't shown you yet. You can see it still needs cleaning. Um, We'll work on that. But you can see they can come right out in the shop with me. They can go outside if they want and uh, go to the bathroom, get away from me. Um, we have that little plastic fence, which they don't jump it, so it works fine for that. And anyways, so that lets them come in here and be with me while I'm in the shop. So anyways, I know it's a little something different. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, comment, share, like, follow, whatever, thumbs up, any of that stuff. It really helps me out. Biggest thing is subscribe. So 
We'll see you on the next one. Bye.